I always wanted to be a stuntman in Hollywood. I wanted to be either a stuntman and for a while in high school I wanted to be like a fighter pilot. And it was just like this, this dream. But I had no clue, I had no conception of like how it was actually gonna work and how I was gonna get there. I was at school getting my psychology degree at UTC. Didn't have anything that was really coming after it. I kind of saw this like looming future that was like, okay, eventually I'm gonna have to grow up and like get a big boy job. That's what everybody's told me to do my whole life. I think one of the reasons it turned me off so much is because I didn't love what I was doing. And I was hurting because I wasn't, I wasn't satisfied. I wasn't fulfilled. I felt pretty hopeless because the job that I was working in, like I wasn't making enough money to even really buy food at the end of the week. I, I, you know, I thought that being able to live a life like I'm living right now was impossible. A bike for me, it just allows me to unplug. It's, it's, it's me and it's a bike. It's not me in a radio and a phone and music. Like it's just, it's, it's me in the road. That's where I dream. That's where I create. That's where I envision. That's where I, you know, inspire myself. Is on a motorcycle. People are just going through this daily routine. Well, it's another day. Well, it's another, well, it's Monday. Well, you know, and it's just like, what What are you living for? And so what I love to do is like, bring people's lives and put it on a table and be like, okay, like, what do you actually get excited about? And what I find is like, people don't ever think about that question, which is baffling to me. How could we become so domesticated that we don't even think about what we actually want to do? And using something like Isogenics is just a vehicle that can fuel those, you know? Like Isogenics was never the answer. It's not, it's not the answer. It's a means to an end to get to whatever it is that really does fire you up. It's about taking that one person who has never been told that they can do what they really actually want to do because everybody that you know, has listened to their dream, has laughed, or been like, oh, come on, that's unrealistic. I wanna take that person and say, let's run for the next 24 months, let's build something together, so that after 24 months, you can go do that, and you can do it as long, as long as you want, and never have to worry about money, never have to worry about time, because that's what excites you. It is absolutely imperative that people pursue their dreams. That's the only reason this world is where it's at right now. It's because crazy people have pursued what they love, what they're passionate about, and what they envision in the future. And you've got to follow that. Find what makes you come alive and go after it with everything you have. You're worth it. You're worth it and your dreams are worth it.